Dozens of emergency vehicles filled West Mockingbird Lane in West Dallas late Friday night. Mockingbird intersection put back. While what was left of this vehicle remained in the street. This incident started from an alleged street race between a Range Rover and Chevy Tahoe that left three people dead, a witness told police. Hearing cars speed down West Dallas roads late at night is becoming a normal occurrence for some of the neighbors we spoke with. It's almost as, as frequent as the shooting out here, in all honesty. Robert Reyes has lived in this nearby West Dallas neighborhood for more than 40 years. He says late night racing has gotten worse since the COVID-19 pandemic began. It'll wake you up. You know, just because of how loud they're, they're, they're going. Robert Reyes, brother, Raul Reyes, is the founder of West Dallas One. A collective of just, again, just neighborhood associations, neighborhood leaders. He says the first step to fixing this problem comes from the people in his community taking ownership of the issue and working to discourage this type of behavior. People are, are, are taking these risks in these vehicles and don't mind the safety of themselves, but also the safety of others. Nearly 12 hours after the crash, construction crews continued to work Saturday afternoon as one of the cars from the accident hit two telephone poles before catching on fire. Last summer, Dallas police passed a street racing ordinance, making it illegal to be a spectator at so-called street takeover events. But for Robert Reyes, he says focusing on the bridges that cross over the Trinity River would make a big difference. My recommendation would be maybe posting officers at the bridge to keep the roads and the drivers a bit safer. In West Dallas, I'm Jay Wallace.